What's up, you guys? Check it out. Um, look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this. It's okay. So this is gonna happen in several different sections. Okay, I'm gonna have some goofy, some funny moments. I'm gonna have a little bit of serious moments, and then I'm gonna have some real shit moments. Okay. So, first off, I want to say rest in peace to Kevin Curdy, a uh, classmate of mine that I had when I was in high school. Um, he was a pretty cool dude. You know, I, I'm not even going to sit here in front. I didn't really kick it with him that much. I knew a lot of people. I seen him at parties and stuff a lot. But really, what, what it, just to see the reach that this person had. And not only that, but it's just so crazy to see so many people in my generation, in my age, dying. You know, I think he was 26, 25, something like that. You know, um, I've seen a lot of, th th at least, at the very least, like, four people fucking dead. Like, holy shit. You know what I'm saying? This is crazy. Once again, though, you guys, what is it that you want out of life, right? Y'all probably think I'm crazy as shit over here speaking in front of this camera and, you know, not pe people, not, some people ain't fucking with me. Other people really fuck, fuck with me. It doesn't matter. What does matter is what's your plan in the long term, Right? Do you want to live long term? I like existentacion and all them and shit, but I, I I just can't rock with it. Some people rock with that shit. I can't rock. What I can't rock with is live fast, die young. No, that's not what it's about. You got to think about the people that you're touching, the people that you haven't touched, the people that you, that are looking up to you. That's, this is the reason why you need to work out. This is why you need to eat your vegetables. This is why you need to start reading. You need to educate yourself, feed your mind. Like, is this, this is so important, you guys. Now more than ever, are we really seeing the effects and the consequences of our decisions come back to really hurt us? And sometimes you think you may not have done anything wrong, right? But what it is, is not having your head on a swivel. Life if you have not gone through trials and tribulations, almost everybody's going through some sort of trial and tribulation, right? I'm not here to boast or brag or none of that. What I'm here to do is I'm here to express and tell you guys, you need to celebrate your wins. But then you need to get right back to fucking work. You need to get right back to fucking work. There is there is time for rest, but you need to not be resting for too damn long. You need to be fucking putting that time in, put that work in there, and you need to educate yourself. You do not know every fucking thing. But I guarantee you, I spent a lot more time than a lot of y'all and a lot of other people out here than they have on themselves. I've spent a lot of time on myself. I've spent a lot of time failing. Walking two fucking miles, three fucking miles, just to catch a bus, go home to to go home. You know, fucking one o'clock in the morning, no trains, no buses. I don't know how the f I'm lost as shit. You know, I'm crying, folding boxes for like eight dollars an hour. You know what I'm saying? Like I've done bullshit. I don't know. I have not lived as bad as some other people out here in the world. But one thing that's important to realize is that with the, with the good comes bad and with bad comes the good. What you're going through, if you're a business owner and you, you lost your job or if you're a food restaurant server or something like that and you lost your job, you're out of a job, this is not a failure. It's a lesson. It's a fucking lesson. You need to realize this, you guys. You guys need to stop being so i so so I, like idealistic and 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 absolute. You know, some of the people that you think you you categorize in one area, it it really may not be that way. You know, some of you girls out here are like, oh, there's no good men out here. Where are the good men at? Oh, these men don't do shit. What the fuck are you doing? Hold yourself a fucking accountable. How many motherfuckers have you slept with? What kind of niggas were you letting inside your body? What the f what do you want in a man? You don't know. And that's okay. But what's not okay is you doing this shit to yourself and then blaming other people, right? Because the people that look up to you, you're a false idol. You're a false idol, a false person that people should be looking up to. Everybody is good and bad in their own ways, right? It's all subjective, which is what the liberal push and, uh, and political ideology wants to push out there. The truth is, is that if beauty is in the eye of the beholder, morality is also <laughs> subjective to the judge, the judge, right? 
whoever the person is that's deciding if this is good or bad. So with this coronavirus stuff, the people that are losing, that have had businesses, what you need to do is you need to understand and, re- and, and find a way to get back into this. You never should ever just have one source of income. And if you only have one source of income, you need to make damn sure that the money you get in from this, you're not spending on some bullshit, right? You, you're investing in yourself, right? I currently have, let's say two sources of income, right? But the thing is, is that I'm focused on my job and I'm focusing on my end goal. I have an end goal, right? So I will tell you guys one thing right now. Yes, I'm dealing in the loan industry and I'm dealing with real estate and I'm dealing with insurance. These are some fee- these are some STEM fields that will never go out of style, that you will never lose a job for. IT, IT, fucking uh, in loans, banks, real estate, money, medical field, and I would say food. It's just in the way that you do the food, right? Unfortunately, a lot of restaurant owners are being affected by this. But the ones that are not affected by it are the ones that have signed up with Postmates, DoorDash, Uber Eats, Grubhub, and stuff like that. These are still operating, you know? So it's it's really a lesson. It's a lesson. You're not developing with the times. You're not being flexible enough to what's happening in the world. Some people have been blessed enough, and, and not, let me not even say blessed, fortunate enough to have chosen a, a nice, great, stable field, you know? But that's because they've probably been taught to do that stuff. So if you have not been taught to do this, you need to educate yourself. This is your fault. You're in this situation because of you. Yes, you're probably like, oh, you're talking bullshit. No, I'm not talking no bullshit. This is partially, a lot of it is because of you. You did lack of print planning. You spent a lot of your weekends partying and bullshitting. You spent a lot of your time, conversations, gossiping on other shit. You don't spend time reading and educating yourself. Not everyone reads, fine. Okay, but at least have some stimulated conversations that, that are something more than fucking NBA teams or or what the fuck Susan did yesterday or what Lakeisha was doing to that nigga over there. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all niggas, like, people got they shit all effed up. There's a time and place for everything. You can't be a robot. Nobody's asking you to be a robot out here and just, you know what I'm saying? But damn, motherfuckers is, is, is suffering. I just, I just talked to two people today who, their parents are out of a job, they're out of a job. I'm, I know a lot of people in the restaurant industry, thank God I left when I did, you know, that are probably suffering right now. And it's, it's, it's so like, comfort will kill you. Comfort will kill you. There's a story that I, I, I heard in a TED Talk about back in the day in science class, what they would do with frogs is, and they, and they they don't do this anymore, obviously, because it's, it's inhumane, but what they would do is each, there would be a team of like three, each team would get a frog and there'd be a pot. So they were instructed to put the frog in the pot with the water in it, put some water in it, right? And you know, the frog's just chilling, some cold water. Now the pot's on the stove. So the teacher said, okay, you guys don't cry, don't freak out. This is what we're gonna do, okay? Turn it up to three. Three out of 10, turn it up to three. All right, you guys? So the frog starts to jump a little bit, jump around. They said, all right, class, put the lid on the pot. Okay, now come up here to the front and we're gonna watch, we're gonna watch this show about frogs, okay? So they did that, sat there for about 10, 12 minutes learning about frogs, you know, they're cold-blooded, whatnot, yada, yada, yada. So they went back over there to the pot. The teacher said, go back to the pot, you guys. Raise it up a little bit more. They put it up to, to five. All right, come back and watch this. They repeated that until it went all the way to 10. Now, what was interesting was that when it was at five, the frog stopped jumping. He stopped jumping, right? When it was at seven, it looked like the frog was asleep. And then at 10... The water was boiling, obviously. He was dead. 
what this means is that as because if you don't know frogs are cold-blooded so that means that their internal temperature takes on the external whatever's around them so the water if it's at 78 degrees they're at 78 degrees but what happens is if you slowly increase it the frog doesn't feel it the frog doesn't feel the pressure until they're dead and this is what happens you're comfortable you stick with one thing for too long and then you die not maybe not physically but something will fall even for me but one thing that I, I i'm trying to do is i'm trying to prepare myself for it i don't i know i for damn sure don't have everything together but it's so important now more than ever to learn 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 the thing you looking at me in your motherfucking phone is the most powerful tool we have ever had in all of humanity. And we cannot understand that shit. Look, look at the shit that we're around. Look, what the fuck? We have air conditioning. You may think I'm fucking crazy, but just think about this shit for a fucking split second. Mother Nature is undefeated, yet we found a way to conquer this shit in some ways. But now, nature's coming back to fuck us up. You know? You've got to utilize your resources fully. And, and, and you know, I, I'm nowhere near, like, where I should be at, where I want to be at. But I'm getting there. I'm fucking getting there. You know? I've had a couple people in my life that really looked up to me, rooted for me, and helped me out. And I will fucking be there, and I will bless them. I know I will bless them. Because... I know there were a couple people who helped me to fuck out when I needed shit. You know? And it's not about hating. It's not about you get what you have and nobody else can have it. It's about making sure you're good so that you can give to others. But the way that I'm going to give it is how I want to give it. You're not going to tell me how I'm going to give something to you. The people that are at the top, some of them deserve to be there. A lot of y'all don't want to accept that shit. A lot of y'all have disdain for the people who are, are rich and who have power and shit. The fact is, is you do you need to realize the life in the world that we fucking live in, right? You got to realize this shit. This is so important. Look at me. Look look at me. What the fuck? Like, come on. This is this is some real shit. You know? When I was in school, people made fun of me. They said I I talk white. I had to leave Missouri. I had to leave Missouri. I had to leave all that shit behind. You know, I, I had to because I knew that was not for me. I was not looked at at who as who I was and who what my potential was. I had to go thrive. I had to fly. I failed so many times. Now I'm starting to realize. And I'm starting to understand what it means to succeed. And it's not even just about succeeding. It's about sustaining. When you can sustain, then you can thrive. A lot of y'all foundation, a lot of our foundations, our entire mindset will forever be changed because of this situation today. What will you do with it? In this down, I'm gonna tell you what I do real quick, y'all. What I just did today, was I, I was working with some with finances, right? So what I'm doing is I'm we've been taking in lots of calls for people asking for refinances because they lost their jobs. We talked from people from California to New York to Pennsylvania to Colorado. Motherfuckers is losing their jobs, but they still got mortgages. They still got all this debt. And they need to save their money because they don't know what's happening. So while they're asking for refinances, because they're in crippled debt. When we do refinance you, we getting a fat ass check. We getting a fat ass check off of y'all suffering. Think about that shit. Think about that shit for a minute. Whether it's right or wrong, at this point, when you thinking about your next meal, when you thinking about how you gonna wipe your ass, What's good or bad, sometimes that filter isn't there when you just you just thinking about how to survive. And now y'all motherfuckers understanding how a lot of minorities in them feel. 
when shit goes, when shit ain't there for you, morality is out. The last thing we're worried about is what's good or what's bad. You just trying to survive. You and your family. That's all y'all want to do is survive. We eating off y'all fucking failures. Eating. Good. Thriving. I had two job offerings. Good money. Good money. I'm about to start a job making $23 an hour. I'm going to make $4,000 a month with bonuses. The job I just came from, This I, I got two jobs lined up. This job right here that I, I just came from, they gave me gave me all this shit back here. I got to install this here. Two computer screens. There's kids. I say kids because they're younger than me. I'm making 60, 70K. Some made 100K last year. You just doing the wrong things. You got to do... It's not about doing the right or wrong things, but you got to find out what it is that you want to do and you got to make sure you solidify that shit. Nobody's been through something like this in our lifetimes for for you know? So it's hard to learn from this or to know what to do or even to to know that you should have been prepared for it. Nobody we, we live in an abundant society, but now we're faced with some with a, with like scarcity and it's it's hard to to, to transition from abundance to scarcity like the way that we are, you know? And it's, we've got to learn from this. You need to educate yourself, learn. Look at what stocks are going to be rising up. Look, look at what, educate yourself, you know? Does that mean you should go back to school? I don't think so. But if that's what you think you should do, do it. I'm here to prove you don't need a degree to be successful in life. That's what I chose to do when I left college. Granted, I didn't really want to leave college. I just couldn't sustain it. I didn't think it was for me. I sacrificed a lot of my life to get to where I'm at. To get to this mindset. You can too. You could probably do much better than what I'm doing. Look, y'all. I do got some pent up anger and, 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 and animosity because I try to do good things and I try to spread it. And I may be doing it the wrong way, but I always felt like my intellect and my insight was always just made fun of because of, you know, I just feel like ignorance is, is, is celebrated. A lot of the good things out here aren't celebrated, you know? You can shine. You can shine. Nobody's saying that you can't shine, you know? I do it for the, for the little guys. I'm doing it for the underdogs. Y'all be safe out here, man. Learn, educate yourselves. Stay safe. Eat good. Be proactive, not reactive. Y'all motherfuckers are reactive. You need to be proactive. Y'all want to wait until a situation hits you and then you want to scramble to fucking find solutions. You lost already. Win. Think about winning. You can fucking win. You can win. Put the work in. All right, y'all. Like, comment, subscribe, share, interact with me. I'm going to be here.